East Village, how are you doing? Hey, Yako. Hail to the great bearded one. What the, what's going on? <laughs> Good at you, bro. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, pretty fine. I'm chilling. It's uh, fucking hot as fuck at my place. <laughs> I'm enjoying a freshly made smoothie. And nice. uh, yeah, happy happy to be here, man. I've been trying to reach out to you for a couple of months. So, oh, shit. Um, I have, yeah, well, you know, different schedules and work and stuff. So, you know, you know how True. it is. Yeah. But, um, uh, that's why I'm kind of forced to bring you back a couple of months ago. I mean, yeah, you probably sure. don't. All right. So, do you remember, bro? Um, I believe it was like, I don't know, two or three months ago. There was this like ex Blizzard developer, ex, ex developer or current developer, I'm not really sure, who mm -hmm. gave like this a little bit. I don't know, semi-woke statement, which kind of got popularized, uh, popular, popularized also like on Asmo's channel and stuff. It was about how fucking outraged he was that um, Arthas actually had to kill and, you know, purge the city when that thing uh, kind of blew up that um, uh, our oh, yeah, side... Yeah, yeah. It's, you remember it, that? It was an yeah. ex-Warcraft developer. Um, he used yeah. to work on Warcraft, left the company. I don't know what the fuck he's doing now. But yeah, he basically mouthed off that um, uh, Arthur's, what Arthur's did was an absolute atrocity. Like, it had nothing to do with being woke or anything. The dude just doesn't understand fucking logistics or rationality or logic for that matter. So it's more exactly. just, it's more just a, a pure stupid fucking answer. Uh, but the guy basically mouthed off, uh, I'm just giving sort of backstory for people in chat. So this guy said that there was other options for Arthas, like running away from the plague. That was the right way to handle it. They, they took great care to make sure that people in the game understood, right, that um, what Arthas is doing is absolutely atrocious and evil. Uh, you do not purge uh, a city when there's a plague. And immediately, what comes to on, what comes to mind there is, and then what? What if the dead follow you? Do you just keep running? Do you eventually start fucking swimming? Like, when do you stop? Like, at what point do you go? Okay, wait. The dead is not fucking stopping. They're just coming, and they're turning everyone else into undead, which means we're just gonna be running forever. It's like the most stupid fucking answer you could give. Um, so and, true. Yeah, I, I remember. Mean, it. I mean <laughs> How many uh, zombie movies you need to watch to actually realize that's not gonna work? Anyway, but bro, what I realized the other day, I was doing some, um, uh, you know, mouth runs, uh, BFA content, because mm -hmm. you know what the fuck are else you gonna do currently in WoW? Yeah. So I went to um, King's Rest Dungeon in BFA. Yeah. And um, in the beginning of the dungeon, there is this like, um, it's like a bridge area. And on the side is just a big fucking chasm, like where you you know you can kind of get pushed on and like fall down on. Yeah. And in the begin, yeah. And in the beginning of the bridge, there are two tablets which are which are sitting kind of like exactly in the beginning of the bridge. And yeah. I, I clicked on the fucking tablet, and it said it was regarding the blood plague, uh, which you know kind of occurred in Zandalar and all that things. Yes. In, in, in on the fucking tablet, it says if you get infected with the blood plague uh do us a favor and throw yourself off from the fucking bridge so that's just another example that these people don't fucking play their game and don't know the half of the content which is, is inside yep. it's like it's it's actually in the bloody game it says like if you get the plague do us a favor throw us throw yourself off the bridge yeah and this guy is coming out and like defending that oh the, what artist did is uh, inhumane and you know, it was just <laughs> to to totally ridiculous, man. It's in the bloody game. Anyway, so yeah, that was just kind of a kind of a thing I I wanted to mention. I found it recently, like written in the bloody tablets there. So yeah, yeah. just wanted to mention. And bro, I had another question. Um, yeah, it's go like for it. out. Thanks. Um, it's uh, regarding the yesterday's uh, Bethesda and Xbox uh, showcase. Did you manage to check that? Oh my god, did I watch that? Yes, yes, I watched yes. it. It was so good, but yeah. <laughs> I, absolutely, I liked it too. And I just wanted to kind of hear your take on, 
you know, on Starfield, I haven't heard you talking about that game. Are you planning to cover it? What do you think it's gonna be like, um, comparing like to, you know, previous like Bethesda titles? Uh, are you mm -hmm. excited for it? Um, you know, what do you think of the showcase, like from the gameplay, which we actually finally got uh, yesterday? So yeah. if you can just elaborate a little bit on that, then I'll leave you alone. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Starfield. Um, I'm very excited for Starfield. True, I haven't really covered it, mainly because I don't... Generally speaking, I don't really play RPG games um, on stream just because they're very, they're horrible RPG games uh, or hor horrible stream games, really. Because, you know, you're more there for the story and most people want to play the story themselves. So in a general sense, I don't play RPG games. I might make an exception for Starfield because it is a Bethesda title, which means most of the time you're just in the open world doing your own thing. As for the game, it looks fantastic with a caveat. It's very clear that the game was made on the creation engine, right? Very clear. Like, as soon as the game loaded up, I was like, oh my god, here we go. Like, it looks basically like a Fallout uh, Skyrim game, right? It looks basically the same. There's something about the creation engine I just don't like. Um, I don't know why, but there is something that I don't like. Luckily, the next uh, Elder Scrolls is made on Unreal Engine 5, so it's going to look out of a lot better. Uh, with that being said, what excites me for the game is that it is Bethesda. Uh, did you manage to see during the stream when they showed off the, uh, the talent trees and the skill trees? Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of digging it. That looks sick. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, and I think it's kind of true that it has like uh, the best elements from previous titles. Like it has yep. a little bit of Skyrim elements, some Fallout elements. So oh, yeah. I'm I'm pers yeah, I'm personally excited. And there was a very funny joke yesterday uh, about uh, the creation engine that uh, you know um, hundred uh, star systems, uh, thousand planets, and not a single uh, climbable ladder in a Bethesda game. <laughs> they always had that issue <laughs> running. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I, I, I hope they do it, bro. You know, I'm uh, kind of like that's the only title which I'm kind of currently looking for. So I'm I'm happy that uh, you liked it as well. And if you decide to cover it, we'll be around. Sure. I mean, I will probably play it. Although I can guarantee you now that is not the game that I'm the most excited for coming out of the uh, uh, Xbox Bethesda showcase. The one that I'm most excited for is a Plague Tale Requiem. Uh, I played a Plague Tale the original, Innocence, uh, on stream. It's about 12 hours. It's a very short game. One of the best stories I've ever seen in a video game. It's so fucking cool. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. That's the game that I'm sort of most hyped for because it looks just insanely cool. Um, and then, of course, the game that blew me away, which is weird, but it did, Diablo 4. Like, just, just seeing what they're planning for Diablo 4, actually seeing the world looks... Oh, if they if they don't over-monetize Diablo 4, it is fucking on, bro. Like, it is it, on. That game is going to be nuts. Word, word. It looks like it. I mean, there's definitely inspirations from, like, going back to Diablo 2 kind of vibes. So, uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm crossing fingers, man. Let's, let's hope something good comes out of it. Let's see. Yeah. I think, I think there will be. So, for, I don't know if you guys, did you guys catch, um, the Overwatch 2 thing? So, Overwatch 2 was also announced, uh, during the Xbox game showcase. And they, they said, free to play right so it's going to be free overwatch 2 which i don't remember it being i remember originally you had like it was gonna be buy to play it is free and according to twitter they have a new plan for overwatch 2 so they're now sort of they, they're building it more like a League of Legends type of thing. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm not entirely sure yet what's going to happen there. Um, guys, I'm not talking about the whole... Like, multiplayer is the only reason people play Overwatch. 
Anyone that really cares about the story of Overwatch, sure, go go spend your money. I will not be buying it for the story of Overwatch. The PvP side of things is what I'm talking about, because it now going into a more long term where you want to do something similar to what League of Legends is doing, which is basically keep it going forever. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out with the Xbox Game Pass and, and how that's going to work. And by the way, uh, you bet your ass that game is going to be on the Xbox Game Pass, which means don't buy for the story because you're probably going to be able to play the story for free with the Xbox Game Pass. $15 a month, you'll get the whole game for free anyways. Um, but there, there were a number of cool ones, but Starfield is definitely one of those uh, that I think it, if they do it well... The only thing that I'm afraid of is... Uh, the only thing that I'm afraid of uh, is Todd Howard have said before many, many things. I remember Todd Howard telling me that there's 18 times the detail and then we got Fallout 76. You know, so there, there is a part of me that is very afraid of this game. Because uh, if it sucks, that's so many years that we've been hyped uh, that it's just going away. You know, but hopefully, hopefully it doesn't, you know? So, uh, yeah, we'll give it a go when I'm on stream. Super, super. Glad to hear it, man. Thank you for your time. And uh, for the yeah, I'll see you around. I really All appreciate right. it, bro. Take care of yourself, man. Cheers. Cheers. See you Peace. around. Bye-bye. Peace.